hello friends in this video i will show you how to create a database app in sketchware and this will be using a json file and in this video i will be creating an app in which user can enter the roll number of the student and then click a button on clicking the button it will display details of that particular student whose roll number is entered by the user so first i will tell you how to create a json file in the beginning of the file there should be an opening curly bracket and at the end it should be closed by a closing curly bracket so that's the beginning and end in between there should be details of each student so what i've done is i've used the roll number as key at each position so at this one two three one is the roll number of the first student it is in double quotes and after that there is a colon after the colon is this opening curly bracket and in the end is closing curly bracket in between these curly brackets are four different keys name math science and history and their values the all the keys and values are in double quotes and each key and value is separated by this colon and each key is separated from the other key by a comma so this name and maths are separated by a comma similarly maths and science are separated by this comma and science and history are separated by this comma now please note that there is no comma at the end because if i put a comma at the end it means there is another value after that but actually there is no other value after that so only put a comma if there is another value after that key if there is nothing else if there is this closing curly bracket after that then just don't put a comma here otherwise it will it cannot be uploaded to firebase similarly each data of each student like here roll number 1 2 3 1 and this second one is roll number 1 2 3 2 these two are separated by a comma here you can see this comma separates 1, 2, 3, 1 and 1, 2, 3, 2. Now this second position also contains the same keys, only the values are different. So make sure that the keys are same at each position and each position is separated from the other one by a comma and also make sure that there is no extra comma. So like at the end, at the last position there is no comma after this closing curly bracket whereas there is a comma after closing curly bracket at all other positions and now suppose if i have to add a new student i will just copy this part then i will put a comma here and then paste it here so and now i can change this roll number to 1 to 4 1 and I can change all the values here okay these are all the details for each of these values now I will create a new JSON file so in order to do that I will just select all this copy this now I will go to yes file explorer here i will create a new file i will name this as myfile.json and i will open it as text file in es note editor now i will just edit this and paste all the data here this is all the data of my database I will save this file now after saving this I will go to my firebase database make sure you have set up your firebase database with rules read true and write true so here in my database if I import the JSON file here it will delete all this data now I don't want to delete all this data so I will create a new path for doing that I will click on this URL and in this URL at the end I will write my path name let it be results 
followed by a slash and then I will click on go so this will open that path results here I will import the JSON file I will just browse my file manager and I will import my file.json by clicking on import it will import all the details you can see all these roll numbers 1231 1232 up to 1241 and it contains all the keys which were there in my JSON file so now I have imported all the data to my Firebase database next step is to create an app in Sketchware so in Sketchware create an app with same it's uh, you have to enter the same credentials which you received from your database so here you have to go to firebase and enter your project id app id api key and enable this firebase after enabling firebase now here i've already created this two pages main.xml and page2.xml now my main.xml contains an edit text one and a button one now let's move to the logic area here I will need an intent component I which will move to page 2 when the button 1 is clicked so I will create an intent component I okay after this when this button is clicked I will just save this whole number and move to the second page so in the event on button click I'll use this block intent set screen intent I set screen page 2 activity intent I put extra key let this key be roll number or roll this key is roll and its value will be edit text 1 get text and after this start activity intent that's all in main activity now let's move to page 2 activity my page 2 activity contains text view 6 for name text view 7 for roll number text view 8 for marks in maths text view 9 for science and text view 10 for history now let's move to logic area here I'll be creating a new Firebase DB component we can name it anything so I will just name it as FDB now enter the data location it should be same as the location at which the JSON file is uploaded now it is uploaded to this location called results so I will write results here and I will just save this once this is saved I will go to events and here I will go to components and I will add this event Firebase DB on child added. Now in this event Firebase DB on child added I will use this if then block if child key equals I will use this if child key equals and here I will use activity get extra key now this key should be same as the key used in main activity so that was role so if child key equals activity get extra key role then in that case I will set the text of all the text views which are text view 6 text view 7 text view 8 text view 9 and text view 10 text view 6 is for name so I will use this text view 6 set text and here I will create a new map variable let this map variable be map and here now I will use this block map get key now 
instead of map i will use this map child value and for get key i will use the key name this is the same key which is there in my json file and in my database text view 7 is for roll number now roll number is same as this child key so i will use this child key here text view 8 then text view 9 and text view 10 Now let me see this view, text view 8 is for maths, 9 for science and 10 for history. So I will just use this block, map get key, and I will use this map child value. and I will use this blocks maths science and history yeah, maths, science and history that's all now I also have this button which is back button button fun so in the event on button one click I will just finish this activity I will use this block finish activity on button one click so that's all our database app is created now let's check this Okay, here in this app, if I enter a valid roll number like 1, 2, 3, 6 and click on check results, I will move to the second page and it will download the data related to that roll number, which is named Kiran and one roll number 1, 2, 3, 6 and all its marks. Now, let me just check this in the database. Here in this database, for oh, 1, 2, 3, 6, you can see the name is Kiran and marks are 50, 46 and 40. So these same are displayed here. If I click on back button, I can use any other roll number like 1, 2, 3, 7 and check the results for 1, 2, 4, 4 1. 1 to 4 1 these are the results so in this way we can create a simple database app using json file and firebase in sketchware i hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this video